Hi, I'm Joni Ravenna, and this is the Desert Cities Reports, your weekly guide to destinations, resorts, dining, and activities in and around California's fabulous desert cities. Here at the Ingleside Inn at Melvin's Restaurant, and tonight there's a wonderful speaker series with Joel Douglas, and he's the producer of so many well-known movies like *Romance of the Stone* and *One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest*. It's so great of you to talk to us before you go out and talk to all of them over at Melvin's. Well, it's great to be listening to you. Well, you're <laughs> fascinating because you just did a story, uh, and you talked about having the showbiz family and how there were two important rules. One was don't compete in the family, and the other is don't believe your own press. How important is that? Well, it's very important, actually. I mean, it's part of four kind of credos that I go by. You know, um, you run the show, the show doesn't run you. Mm. You know, don't believe your own press is a big one. I mean, and it's a, been a, a downfall for so many in, the, in this town when the ego takes over the work. But isn't that hard? I mean, we all want to compete with our siblings. That's just what we do. Well, we do with sports. We do with non-competitive life things. I'm, saying, I, I'm not speaking about siblings or natural uh, you know, competitors right. growing up. But I made an early on uh, decision to support. Um, I am a, um, I call myself probably a backroom boy. I do the numbers. I do the uh, support strategy. Uh, you know, to uh, making a film. And it's just, it's much healthier. I saw Mike, who went, he competed, obviously, with Dad. He was known as Kirk's son, gosh, I think right up to the uh, Jewel of the Nile series. He had done 10 films already. And was that difficult for him? Must have been. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult, um, you know, on all counts, you know, outside and in. I mean, you're you're constantly questioning yourself, you're constantly being compared, right, you right. know, to, uh, you know, another actor. It's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's very difficult, and I've seen so often where it becomes counterproductive, you know, and the kids go, you know, off the end. Now, your relationship, of course, with your brother and father is very, very good. Yes, today, <laughs> with that, you know, <laughs> like with most parents and everything. You take, no, it, you, you take it one day at a time, is that how it goes? Or? Well, no, it's, I, I tease him a lot now. Dad is, you know, finally, it took 95 years, he has reached a, a mellow mm -hmm. uh, point. Um, well, not quite a mellow point, because he just finished a new book, I Am Spartacus, which is just coming out. And um, he'll probably be looking around tomorrow for his next gig. Um, you know, Mike is, uh, he was here in town doing the Liberace, uh, the Candelabra uh, show. And hey, you know, he's doing literally five shows back to back. Amazing. We're going to do, uh, I said for an old guy, you're incredible, Mike. You know, we're going to be doing a picture together in uh, New Mexico later in September. And, uh, and what about his wife? Will she be involved with that as well? Our wives are always involved. <laughs> to some extent. Though. We move as a, a unit, as a family. Your beautiful you know? wife is here, and she's off to the side, and, and what a lovely woman she is. Your sister-in-law, Catherine Zeta-Jones, how do you get along with her? Do you all go out and double date, you and your wife, and Michael and his wife? Well, it's, it's difficult when one's on the East Coast, the other's yeah. on the West Coast. I'm, you know, 100 miles out of L.A. But when he comes out here, do you get to Well, sure. He stayed, he, he stayed at my place while he shot. Um, in uh, you know the Liberace, and we had a great weekend uh, together. So you know the moments become much more valuable, much more meaningful. As you get older, yeah. Uh, sure. And I just was up in Vegas with him on his new show with Morgan Freeman and uh, Bobby De Niro, and uh, so we had time three days up there, four days up there, yeah. and uh, so we grab it where we can. Well, of course, now one of the most famous shows that you both have worked on is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and you guys chose somebody who was so brilliant, of course, Jack Nicholson, the most brilliant actor out there. 
who was funny, and you needed to be funny to carry off that role. Well, it was an incredible combination. A bunch of out-of-work New York actors, yeah. you know, like Tanny DeVito and Chris yeah. Lloyd and uh, Billy Redfield and uh, whatnot. And I remember when, you know, the picture was originally a three and a half million dollar picture, which was, you know, wow. In those days, we were big time. And then he, Mike called me about six weeks before shooting and said, we got Jack Nicholson. And I said, oh my God, we're at four and a half million. I don't know what we're going to do, mm. you know. But it shows you how things have changed. But it was worth it, wasn't it? Oh, I think so. Yep. It's still grossing. Yeah, it's still grossing. Picture, One of the greatest films of all time. 40 years later, it's still grossing. And you still, you love Danny DeVito. You guys love to work oh, with him. Oh, sure. We've, uh, we started, actually, Dad was the first one who started with Danny on a picture called Scallywag, which was a pirate picture. That was the first picture Danny did. And then he did Cuckoo's Nest immediately after. And then from that taxi, you know, off, off it went. No, we've known Danny for 40 years. Oh, we know you have to go. Thank you so much for talking Thank to us. Thank you so much for having me. The following support Desert Cities Report. Information about desert hotels, golf, restaurants, and attractions can be found at palmspringsvacationdiscounts.com.